Do you want to become a pro-level blockchain master? Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you a technique that I see all the time in professional-level blockchain applications. This has become an industry standard best practice, and it's a huge differentiator that separates, you know, basic tutorial projects from actual professional-level blockchain applications that people use in the wild. This is a must-have if you're trying to create your own portfolio project so that you can land a highly paid blockchain job or become a freelancer, or if you're trying to create your own professional application that people will actually use. So I'm going to talk about what it is in this video today and code it out step by step. I'll take you over the shoulder and show you how to do everything from scratch. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to know how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to create in this tutorial today. This is really going to take your decentralized applications to the next level and make them highly professional. So if you go to a website like Ave.com, you're going to see this behavior on all different kinds of dApps, okay? So if you go to the actual app, you go to launch app, okay, you can click agree. And whenever you go here, it's going to say, you know, please connect your wallet. Okay, so please connect your wallet to see your supplies, borrowings, and open positions. And so whenever you do that, it's going to give you some different options to select which wallet you want to, like your MetaMask or others. And then you're going to consent to actually read your wallet information before they show the application. And they don't load anything until you do that. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to create right now inside your own app so you can take it to the next level. All right, so I'm actually going to code this out from scratch. So you can get a starter kit here over at GitHub. So I'll put a link to this down in the description below. This is github.com forward slash dappy diversity forward slash starter kit two. All right, so this is a template that I use to create tutorial projects in this channel. So you could just say git clone and then paste in the URL. And then I'm going to give it a project name. I'm going to say advanced dapp UI. Okay, and that's going to clone the... Uh, starter kit into a new project name called advanced dapp ui so i'm going to enter into that newly created directory like this cd uh, advanced dapp ui okay and then you really only need one dependency installed on your computer for this which is node.js so i'm using node version 16.14.0 so it'll probably work with other versions but if you're you know if, if you're in doubt i would recommend using the exact same version as me so we're going to install the newly we're going to install the dependencies for the project like this, say npm install, wait for this to finish. All right, so that's done. I'm going to go ahead and open my project in a text editor. I'm using Sublime Text. You can use whatever text editor you'd like, okay? And you can see inside of here that we have our package.json file with all our dependencies that we need to create the project. We've got ethers.js, which we'll use to connect to the blockchain. Uh, we've got hard hat if we want to create smart contracts. Uh, bootstraps, we can create some UI elements. And really, we're just going to create a front-end website in this uh, tutorial, and you can apply this to your own full-stack decentralized applications. So I'm going to go ahead and boot up my web server. All right, you can open up a new tab, and uh, I'll say npm run start, and we should see this pop up in a new tab here. All right, and there we go. You can see we've got some boilerplate code here. So this is using the bootstrap templating framework, all right, so that we don't have to write a bunch of CSS ourselves. Okay, so basically, uh, you can see that we've got a nav bar here that says Dappy Diversity. We've got, um, you know, a title here that just says, here's the starter kit, and you can edit this file inside of here. So this is just boilerplate code that I use to create tutorial applications, and we're going to use this as a starting point for our Dapp user interface. So we can see all the code for the project inside the source uh, front end uh, components and app.js, sorry, app.js file here. So this is the uh, JavaScript file that we have uh, for our React component. Okay, so this is built in React. And, uh, you know, we have a functional component inside of here that uh, is all the source code for the client side uh, application. Okay. So if you're not familiar with React, definitely go check out any of the other tutorials on my channel that I talk about React, or you can read up on the React documentation. But inside of here, what we're going to do essentially is edit this so that we can have this behavior where our application has this please connect wallet. Okay, and we click this connect wallet button, and it loads our account onto the page and hides it, you know, hides the content unless we have connected. So the first thing we want to do is just connect the project to the blockchain. Okay, so I'm going to create a new function inside of here. And this function is going to get called whenever this component is loaded. All right, so we're going to use this function called use effect, which comes with React. So I say use effect. And this basically is going to call whenever the component gets rendered onto the page. And we also need to import use effect uh, from React at the top of the file so that we can actually call this function inside of here. So at the very top, we'll just say this, import use effect from React. 
So basically, anytime I put something inside of this function, it's going to get run whenever this component is loaded to the page. And so the first thing that we want to do inside this use effect function is um, load the connection to ethers JS. Okay, so what does that mean? So ethers is the library that we're going to use to connect our project to the blockchain. Again, our project is built in React. It doesn't talk to the blockchain by default. And that's exactly what ethers.js is going to help us do. It's going to turn our website into a blockchain website. And the ethers.js connection is going to uh, basically talk to MetaMask to connect to Ethereum. Okay. So what we're going to do inside of here is uh, create a new ethers provider like this. We just say new ethers providers, web3 provider, and we pass in window.ethereum that comes from our MetaMask connection and we also need to import ethers at the top of the file like this so we'll say import ethers from ethers all right so we'll save that we'll look at our page make sure there's no errors in the console okay so let's just refresh it here and we should be good for now okay so now what i want to do is actually fetch the account from our wallet metamask wallet all right so what i'm going to do is create a new function here called const fetch account okay we'll say equals async and pass in a function. And what I'm going to do is pull the wallet from MetaMask like this. I'll say const accounts equals await window.ethereum.request. And then you pass this method to fetch request the accounts. Okay, this is going to pull all the accounts in the MetaMask wallet that you've uh, agreed to connect to. All right, and then we'll say uh, console.log accounts. All right, so let's uh, refresh the page here. You don't see anything yet. But that's because we haven't called it. So what we're going to do is say, uh, right after this, we'll say fetch account. Call the function inside of use effect. All right, so here we go. Here's an array. So we want to get the first account in the list. So we'll just say uh, const account equals ethers utils get wallet address or get address and say account zero. And then we'll just log the single account here. All right, and then now uh, we can see the single account right there. So next what I want to do is save this account to uh, the React state. Okay, so we can use something called use state, which is just a React hook. All right, that's what also use effect is. But use state is a React hook that lets us, you know, fetch information from the component state and also update it. So uh, you can do that like this. Well, at the top of our file, we'll just say const account and set account equals use state. So use state is basically just something that lets us access the React component state. Um, what we're doing here is returning two different uh, variables. So this is parallel assignment in JavaScript. When you pass in const and you say an array like this, you're just setting two variables uh, from the return value of use state, which is an array here as well. So account is basically the account fetched from the state. And then set account is a function that actually updates the state. And then this, you know... Uh, this right here is just the default value for account, which is just going to be an empty string. So what we can do is uh, say set account here and then say account. And then we can remove this console logging statement. Okay, save that. And then, boom. Awesome. So what we want to do is actually uh, show the account on the page. That's why we added it to the component state here. So what we're going to do is basically... Uh, we'll just add something really quickly to the bottom of this. We'll take off this, you know, learn blockchain now, and then we'll say, you know, paragraph. <whistles> say you are connected with the following account. Okay, and we'll paste, we'll just say account here. All right. And so you can see we are connected to the following account. And when we refresh the page, we see this flash of content, like the account's empty and it doesn't show on the page. So that's one of the main reasons we're implementing this feature in the first place, because we don't want to have a flash of content whenever you load this. It doesn't like, you know, show a bunch of blank stuff on the page. You want to connect the wallet before you try to really pull anything from the blockchain. So that's what we're going to do right now. So basically, inside this main function, uh, we can implement a uh, conditional. So we're going to use uh, a, we're going to use a ternary operator in JavaScript. So say account. So basically, if the account uh you know, if it satisfies this condition, then we're going to show if it's present, we're going we're gonna to show the content on the page. And if not, we're going to show the uh, form, the, the, the thing that tells them to connect their MetaMask. So uh, there's several different ways to accomplish this. OK, the best way is probably to break each content block into its own unique React component. 
but I don't want to get too far. I don't want to overcomplicate this tutorial. I want to put everything inside one file so it's nice and easy to see. And I also want to use just a single component state and I have to implement some sort of uh, more robust state management system. So I'm making it simple. So what I'm going to do is uh, create a function here, say connect, and then a function here called, uh, sorry, content, uh, and a function called connect. And what this what these functions are going to do is actually return the content uh, for the page if the wallet's been connected. And if not, this is going to return the content for the, uh, you know, thing that, that wants us to connect the stuff on the page. So I'm going to create a function up here like this. We'll just say uh, const content. And it's just going to look like this. And say return. And so I'm going to literally just take the content from here. And then let's see here. Let's let's minimize this. Okay. And I'm going to put it inside of here. All right. So again, this probably belongs in its own component, but I'm just going to put it inside of here to make things really simple for the sake of this tutorial. All right. Then I'm going to take that function. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to have, just going to duplicate it and then go back to the original one and call this connect. Okay, so this will say, what I'm going to do is say, uh, well, I'm just going to leave them for now. Okay, so right now we should see no change on the page. Everything should still work. All right, so everything still works. There's no change. But what I want to do is actually start creating, uh, you know, some content that shows on the page if we don't have our wallet connected. So what we're going to do is actually go reference, you know, this actual implementation. So what we want to do is have an image and then have a header that says, please connect wallet. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, instead of saying DAP University Starter Kit on the connect one, not content, we're going to say, please connect your wallet. And then we're going to say, just literally copy and paste this, please connect your wallet see borrowings and positions all right and then all right so we can see that it's working but we we don't want to just have this flash of content on the page so what do we want to do we actually want to create a button all right that connects the wallet so inside of here we're going to create a new button like this okay we say button so type button, class button, button primary. This is just bootstrap classes and say connect. Okay, so we can see this. All right, refresh the page. So you can see that happening here. All right, so it looks like it's yelling at his class name. So we want to say class name. All right, so now we're automatically fetching the account inside of useEffect. So what we want to do is take this off. Okay, and we only want to call connect. All right, now, now it looks right. Okay, we only want to call connect whenever we click this button. So right now the button doesn't do anything. But now what we want to do is inside of here, say on click. Okay. Equals fetch account. And we want to take the parentheses off because we don't want to call the function. We just want to tell it which function is going to get called whenever we actually click. So let's save that. And then say connect. And then boom, there you go. That's the exact behavior. So let's change the connected content first. We'll just say, uh, welcome to my awesome DAP. Okay, boom. Welcome to my awesome DAP. You're connected with the following account. Awesome, that's it. So that's literally how you uh, connect your wallet with MetaMask and request the wallet before it's actually connected to the blockchain. Now I want to show you one more thing, which is how to actually change this wallet address if you're uh, switch wallets inside MetaMask. So basically, if I go into MetaMask and I change wallets here, I actually want the page to refresh and show the new wallet on the page. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So inside of use effect, we're going to create a new event handler like this. We're going to paste it in and say window.ethereum on accounts changed. We're going to pass in a function and we're just going to call fetch account again. And whenever we fetch the account, it's going to update it and show it on the page. Okay. 
So let's go back here. Let's actually change the account. Okay. And then boom, you can see the account change here on the page. All right, so that's an overview of how to create a wallet connector to your application. So I'm gonna put a link to this down in the description below if you want the final code solution in case you got lost somewhere or just wanna just steal the code quickly. You can find that link down below. So I hope you like this video. If you wanna see more videos just like this that you can become a blockchain developer, definitely go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you wanna take the next step or hey, you wanna learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp and get started today. All right, so that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.